Hi, my name is Shaya Lopez and this is my Lab 5, The Falling Slinky for Physics 2211 with Dr. Younger. So the purpose of this lab is to predict and analyze the motion of a slinky stretch out falling from rest. We will compare an experimental computational model in order to understand how does the slinky move and does the bottom of the model slinky stay stationary just like in the video. So there are some fundamental principles that we need to know for this, for this lab. So we need to know Newton's second law, which is the system's change in momentum proportional to net force applied, F equals ma. And some useful formulas are the gravitational force, that is negative mass times gravity, it goes in the negative y direction, the drag force, and the slinky, which will have a tension force. We will also need to know the velocity update formula as well as the position update formula. So this is the experiment in tracker. So we set the origin as like the bottom of the sink as the origin in zero, zero. And when we put play here, we have the data that is being collected as the slinky falls. Okay, we see, well, it appears that the bottom is not moving, but then once once the slinky falls and like there, it's no longer stretched, we see that that's the moment when it moves. So that's why in the y direction in this graph, it appears like straight to the right and then like a constant, constant downward sloping. And the constant downward sloping here it starts once it's no longer stretched. So this is a code that we use in glow screen for our computational model. So we have the position and velocity vectors that it starts at the origin. We have the time, the change in time. We have the gravity, the, the unit vector for the positive y-axis, as well as the proportional constant for the magnitude of the drag force. Then here we have that while well, the time is less than 5.93. We have here that the work is equals to the force in tension. The only difference is the negative sign here. And then the net force, we add both of these forces. We have the velocity as well as the position for the formula and here we we change the time to well t is less than 8.86 we we edited the work and the fd and then we changed the net force and here we updated the velocity and the position so this is the graph that we had for the experimental where we see that in the y y axis it was first like just the uh, the x moving because the Y wasn't changing, and then once the slinky stopped being stretched, it's when it starts downward sloping until it hits the ground. This is a computational model that we get, which we see that in theory it's very similar, but here it's without like source of error. So it's going like this and also a downward sloping. So here we see the two of them compared and and this is how it should be well we see that the glow script is a little like, more straight perhaps here at the beginning is where they're pretty similar but they're overall like overall they're pretty similar so why does the slinky bottom does not move so the bottom of the slinky does not move when dropped initially due to the delay in tension and compression waves through the coils, but with the bottom with the bottom end only beginning to move once the wave reaches it. Thank you.